Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and I'm going to give you a quick overview of what's included in the LSP Teddy Bear Dreams digital background and show you an example of compositing a baby image in. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do after downloading this from the website is go ahead and open it in Photoshop. Um, I recently won Highly Commended with SWPP with this digital background, so it's a really great one to have in your collection. The baby image you're compositing will need to be shot from above, either using maybe on the beanbag or if you have a posing aid, even better. I love to use the perfect posy from Graceland Designs. It's just absolutely perfect for digital. So at the end of your session, you can pop baby in it, just get a few shots. It's so quick and simple. And that means you can use this for all digital backgrounds. Really, really great. So you're going to want to be able to see your layers panel. After opening a Photoshop, come up here to Window and make sure you have layers selected. Over here in the layers panel, you have the background flat layer. This is the baby bear's digital background with empty bowl that we can see on our screen right now. Above this, you have several layers that are not turned on. They have a little eye icon if they're turned on. So I've just turned on the curly layer and color change. So when this comes up, if you turn it on, it'll be a pink layer. You can turn the layer on above and it will go blue. This is a color changing layer. If you click here, the little kind of um, icon box for the hue saturation, double click this and you will get your hue and saturation box up. Simply slide the top color slider and you can see here the bowl is changing color. And you can change the saturation to make it stronger or calmer. Really, really easy. So whichever background you shot on, say you shot on a green background, you can just slide this and get the right colour until the, um, the saturation is happy for you. You can also click here where it says colorize and this will give you a flat blank colour that you can simply scroll and, you know, make this any, any colour that you like. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn that one off and the one underneath. Above this, you have the dark blank you Now, if you just shot, you know, your baby on just a plain brown or dark background, you can just use the empty wooden bowl and then you can composite any, anything. And if you shot baby on a little blanket in a bowl or in your own bowl prop from above, you can just simply composite in the original layer that was underneath baby. I'm so sorry if you can hear little voices in the background. That's my children. And if you shop, um, you wanted to add a little bit of interest under baby on a dark background, you can turn on this dark blanky layer and you can composite baby there. Go ahead, turn that off. If you shoot on the white curls, um, which many, many newborn photographers do, if you don't have white curls, I really recommend getting some because they're just so versatile for 90% of digital backgrounds. You can turn the white curly layer on or off. Turn all of these on or off. And then at the very top of your layers panel, you have here um, an orange layer place baby here. This is the best place. Um, it's a placeholder, basically, where you add the baby image in. When you place the baby in, it might come directly into this blank layer or it might come above. Either way is absolutely fine. So I'm going to composite a couple of baby images in here and show you how this works. I recommend um, adding in a baby image that you've already edited. So I think you've edited the skin, you've edited the lighting, you've, you've taken away any blemishes, anything like that that you need to do. Make sure the image is already edited. Come up here to file and choose place embedded. If you already own the LSP Digital Background Applicator Actions, you can use those to do all of this for you. I'm just showing you manually. So this is very similar to the way you would do a flat digital background, but in LSP you have the extra options. So go ahead and choose Place Embedded and select the image that you're going to add in. So I'm going to go, let's start with a nice white curls image here. I'm going to go ahead and place this and the image will appear over the top of the digital background. What I like to do at this point is go up here on the layers panel where it says opacity and just turn this down just a little and that way you can resize baby perfectly. If the uh, light in your image is coming from the right you're going to want to flip the baby image by right clicking and choose flip horizontal. If the light in your image is coming from the left that's fine. If you don't want to flip baby image, you can flip the entire um, digital background before adding the baby image in. So I'm just going to resize and reposition this baby into the digital, into the bowl. Let's go about there. Hit enter. And let's bring the opacity back up again. Now this baby was shot on white curls, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the white curly layer on underneath to make things really, really easy. 
if this baby image has placed itself into the uh, placeholder already, it already has a layer mask, that's great. If it comes above, you're going to want to add a layer mask. You can do that really easily by coming down to the bottom of your layers panel, clicking the little icon that looks a little bit like the Japanese flag. It's a rectangle with a circle inside. And you can see now that's added a white layer mask to, your, um, to the baby layer. White means show, black means hide. A layer mask is just like adding a lottery scratch card um, to your layer. So if you want to hide anything, you can grab your brush. On black, I like normal mode, 100% opacity, 25 to 30% flow. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start erasing around the edge of the baby. Layer masks are great because it's not actually deleting any information from the layer, which means you can add it back in again. So say um, you accidentally come over the baby a little bit, you can just switch to a white brush and paint baby back in. Because I've already shot on white curls, um, this image here is by Justina Robot, it's absolutely gorgeous, and it's already on white curls, so it's really, really easy to just composite this in over the white curls layer that's been added in there. So I'm just being a bit careful around the head, I'm gonna zoom in there, make my brush a little bit smaller, just to come in around the head. make sure there's no haloing around the actual curls here so I'm just going in around the edge of the curls that are in the digital just to composite these together and then I'm going to grab a nice soft brush and just dab some of this in and out switching between a black and a right white brush on my keyboard by hitting the X key like this can you see here black to white black to white on the little color picker here it just makes things really quick and easy and that's why I like including these additional um, under layers in my digital backgrounds because it means that whatever you've shot on you're going to always have a similar option there which makes the editing easier more realistic more believable so we've added baby there in on the white curls so let's just turn those off and on again really really easy i recommend turning the baby image off on and off a few times because you'll see if you accident so say we accidentally missed um a piece here you can see that when you turn it on and off so you can grab your black brush and just um, refine that selection a little bit more and there we go really easy so let's go ahead and add another baby image in file place embedded and I'm gonna go for a dark one this time just to show you the difference in editing so again as before I'm gonna take the opacity down baby is lit from the um, from the left which is perfect and I'm gonna bring this baby in this baby was shot on the Graceland um, designs perfect posy turn the opacity back up again. This is the perfect posy here, it's just an absolutely wonderful addition to any newborn studio. I highly, highly recommend it. So I'm going to go ahead again and add a layer mask, white layer mask. Now this is going to be a little bit more of a tricky selection around the baby because um, we're going to pretty much need to cut baby out completely. And there's another way of doing it is darkening using curves or levels around the edge of the baby too. So it really depends. I'm going to show you both ways, but let's just get a very rough selection to begin with. So there we go. So we can see baby is in, but it's not hugely believable because we have this kind of, you know, fluffy edit. So a few ways you could do this. You can grab a softer brush and you can just lightly bring this up to the rim of the bowl. This is one way you could do it if you've shot on a, um, you know, some, some kind of different background here. Especially if baby's nestled in, this looks great because you want to really have it believable that baby is in the bowl. Like this. So you could do it that way. Or we could make a more detailed subject selection. To do that, you can come up here to select subject now. Sometimes it works. In photo, this, is, this is only, by the way, if you're using Creative Cloud. If you're using an older version of Photoshop, you won't have this option. So select subject works. For this image, I don't think it will because it's quite dark, no. So on Photoshop Creative Cloud, you can come up here to the object selection tool and hover over the baby and click. And what this is gonna do is gonna make a selection of baby. It's not perfect, but it's okay. You can invert this selection and grab your brush and you can brush away everything apart from the baby. So that's just a really quick way. If you're not using um, Photoshop Creative Cloud, you're gonna have to zoom in close with your brush um, set to black on a medium hardness and you're just going to have to come in and very 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 carefully erase this background even after using Photoshop selection tools in the latest versions I recommend doing this anyway because um, you know the selection isn't always perfect and while it might look good um, zoomed out 
you want to be able to zoom in and do this too. So right now we have a floating baby. So at this stage there are several things you can do. You click underneath the baby layer. You can come down here to the adjustment layers. This is a little icon with a half and half circle in it. And click levels or curves. I've clicked curves and I'm just going to darken the entire background under baby until it, the shadows kind of match what we have on baby. Control or command I to invert this layer to black, meaning it doesn't show. Grab a white brush, nice and soft, set to around 25% opacity and you can start painting these shadows in. If they look a bit glowy, come up here where it says normal and change the blend mode to luminosity. So what I'm doing now, I'm just adding some shading in around the baby. If you own the LSP Actions Digital Background Assistant um, kit, this creates all the layers for you. You don't need to do anything like this. Um, this is only if you're doing it manually. So there we go. So we've added some shadowing and shading in there around the baby. Just around the bowl. So that's pretty realistic. Another way of doing this is to add some darkness to the original image. So you can come down here again, click on the baby layer. So we don't want to put this underneath this time. We're going to put it above. Come down to the adjustments. I'm going to add curves again. And this time I'm going to clip it to the baby image so it only affects the baby image and not the whole background. Now this is a little advanced, so if at any point you need to just pause this and have a go, do feel free. But the easiest way is, of course, to shoot on curls or a dark blanket or anything like that, and then you don't have to worry about any of this like we did in the first round. Create the clipping mask. And what we're going to do, we're going to darken this baby image down all around the edge so it looks black around the edge. Change the blend mode to luminosity. Control or command I to invert. And Vector Shop is going to let me zoom in. And what we want to do here now is to darken all around the edge of the baby using this white layer mask to show the, um, the effect of this dark curve layer we've just added. So I'm very carefully bringing this all around the edge to kind of black out and really darken the texture of um, the layer that's been shot on. This is the fluffy kind of layer here. So I'm just coming around and just darkening that around the edge of baby, trying to avoid baby, but if a little bit of darkness bleeds in, it's not the end of the world. Experiment with different brush sizes and pressures, and do take your time if this is your first time editing digitals. It does get a lot quicker, I promise you that. Once you've figured out a few tips and tricks, it gets quicker, especially if you own the digital background applicator actions. I'm not showcasing these in this video, I'm showing you how to do it manually, but you can click on the video tutorial section of the LSP Actions website on Photoshop Actions and you can locate the video tutorials. Have a quick watch, I recommend it if you like to use digital backgrounds in your client images because it kind of does all of this for you, it just makes it a lot quicker. So you can see now, using this clipped on dark curves layer, I've painted it around the edge of baby, so it's really darkened everything out. So now when we have baby selection, I can paint in um, some of this original digital that's been darker now, and that's going to create those very realistic shadows in there. So I'm just lightly painting that in. You don't want to be coming over the edge because that's going to paint on the bed, so if you do, grab a black brush to erase that. And there we go, some very realistic shadows. And you can also add curves underneath. There's lots of things you can do. I'm going to turn on dark blanky as well, just to give that dark kind of blanket effect. Just take it off the blanket a little bit. So it just adds that little extra layer of interest underneath baby there. So that's two ways of editing into this digital background. We have the white curls and a baby added on there. And then we have these darker layers and a baby just in the empty bowl or with the dark blanket. Now let's go for the third option of the colour changer. So I'm going to uh, click on the place baby here again. File, place embedded. And let's go for a colourful baby. How about this guy here? Beautifully colourful. Let's add this little one in. Again I'm going to take the opacity down. Make sure you match the lighting tone in the image. And hit enter. 
I'm going to use the uh, the select subject option. I'm going to use the um, object selection tool and click on baby. If it doesn't do a great job, you can hold down shift and you can add more or I'm just going to select the background there. That would work as well. So just go for the path of least resistance. I'm going to take that selection away. Photoshop today is having issues. It really depends on which version of Photoshop you're using. So I'm going to invert that layer mask. So we have a um, kind of a good cutout of baby. It really depends. It literally depends. Photoshop sometimes can be absolutely amazing. Um, instantly making selections and other times it can just have a real wobble and it doesn't know. Always changing with each new update. So if you get a good selection that way, great. If not, you can mask it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on these uh, pink curls here with the colour changer. But first let's go and mask baby a little bit better. Now this baby was shot on a dark kind of brown. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the brush set to white and I'm going to just really, really gently on a low flow brush, just slightly dab in around the edge just to add um, this little bit of uh, original dark posy background back in. This texture is very forgiving on this um, this layer. So if you have shot on anything kind of curly or fluffy, just blend it a little, integrate it like this, just using the, um, the brush. And that way you get the original shadows back in from your baby image in there. Uh, meaning that your, you know, the masking selection is always going to be great. Any little bits of fluff, so you can see here, the baby's um, outfit is very, very fluffy. So by doing this, you're not making a hard um, selection like that, which would kind of, you know, take any of those fluffy things away. So you're kind of using a very, very low flow brush just to dab some of that in around the edge, and that way we can pick up the hair details, anything else. So you're kind of blending those two together, black and white, to blend, blend, blend. And I'm just dabbing it around very, very, very carefully. So now we have baby on this curls layer here. Or just a blank bowl if you want to. So there's baby on the curls. I'm going to turn on the colour changer. And let's just move this a little bit. If we click colourise and come down to the yellowish section and bring the saturation up let's see if we can get something that complements that um, background something kind of brownie toned and there we go I'm just going to slightly take this away because I think that pink looks quite nice in there as well so I'm just lightly dabbing over or you can take the opacity down or up depending on what you'd like to do if you use the LSP Action Digital Background Assistance, you also have um, outfit changing actions too. These are um, colour changes you can brush on to change baby's clothing colour, headband, anything that literally has everything involved. So if you find um, you're a little bit out of your depth with anything at all, those actions will really help and they're available on the LSP Actions website. But for this tutorial, we've just gone in and used this um, hand editing. So there we have baby on the curls. Here we have baby on the dark wood, or the dark blanket. And here we have baby on the white curly layer. So three very different ways that you can use these digital backgrounds. Um, four different backgrounds all together, white curls, dark blanket, color change, and empty bowl. So that gives you plenty of options when you're using this for your clients. Again, I recommend shooting on the perfect posy because they're just, I believe every newborn photography studio should have one of them. I'm not affiliated in any way. I'm just obsessed with it. It's absolutely brilliant. So enjoy using the Teddy Bear Dreams digital background. I hope you love it. Um, I recently won highly commended with SWPP with this digital background. So it's a really great one to have in your collection. I'm Lauren. Thanks for watching.